and let's save share coins and die boom just like that the share point is working what's up first of all we need something to be at a position we want the player to spawn from when he dies and then the player would have a variable to store the spawn points let's get started i have a player which is a kinematic body 2d with movement and stuff open up the player script and create a new variable which we will call checkpoint pose which is a vector 2 because we need it to store a coordinate or position in a 2d space if it's a 3d game use vector 3 next we create a function in the player script called save checkpoints which has two arguments pause x and pause y if 3d also add pause z under it we write checkpoint pose dot x equals pose x and checkpoint pose dot y equals pose y and if 3d checkpoint pose dot x equals pose x now the function sets whatever value pose x or y has to checkpoint pose x and y if pose x is 20 and checkpoint pose dot x is 0 when the function is called checkpoint pose dot x will be 20 the same we apply to y and if 3d z2 next we create a checkpoint which is going to be an area node make sure its mass is set to collide with the player and then connects its body enter signal if your player is a physics body if it's an area node use an area enter signal we write if body is a group player we check if the body that collides with it is a player and next write body dot save checkpoint open parenthesis self dot position dot x and self dot position dot y and if it's 3d as self dot position dot z also here the body is the player remember it checks if the body is the player and the safe checkpoint is the safe checkpoint function in the player script which has some arguments pause x and pause y which we put the position of the checkpoint position dot x and y therefore whenever the checkpoint is placed in the game once the player passes through it, this function will be called and checkpoint pose dot x will be equal to checkpoint node position dot x and vice versa for y and if 3d z. Now we need to move the player back to the checkpoint position when he dies. So in the player script, I have an on death function which plays a death animation and in the animation player animation finish function. If the animation is dead, we set the player's position to be equal to the checkpoint pose. If it's 3D, use transform not position. Alright, I have placed the checkpoint there. Okay, let's run the game and see stuff in action. First, I'll kill the player without reaching the checkpoint and as you can see, the player gets spawned back to the beginning of the level because checkpoint pose is currently 0, 0. Now, let's save checkpoints and die. Boom! Just like that, the checkpoint is working and it has a cool camera motion which is pretty neat. You can reduce or increase this transition by multiplying it by something. And that's it guys, if you have any questions, drop it in the comments. If there's anything I did wrong, please let me know. We are all learning this stuff together. Don't forget to like or dislike, it helps for the algorithm and stuff. And also, we are close to reaching 1 billion subscribers, so yeah, subscribe for more epic game dev stuff. It costs literally 0.000 raised to the power of infinity box, so yeah, subscribe. I'm Desus and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.